Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Horde Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Violence Aesthetics mod here once again. Adds a bunch of characters to the game, and today we're checking out the Believer. Start with a random Tier 4 item and a random Tier 3 item. Add their tags to your wanted tags. You start with a Heavy Bullets and a Tractor. Significantly increase the chance for items with wanted tags to appear. Your wanted tags are Range Damage, Percentage Damage, Range Damage, and harvesting. Gain 50% extra positive stats from items and 150 extra negative stats from items is really interesting. Okay, so obviously we are going to be going for a ranged build. There's obviously like revolver. I, you know, it's been a bit since we've done some shotgun action. So, so what the hell? So it says gain 50% extra positive stats and 150 extra negative stats. But I guess that may only be with things that we end up getting in the future. Because it doesn't look like it is relevant there. But this is a cool idea. Like a really cool idea. It's kind of akin to like the infinite in a way where you're getting that kind of randomized character. But it's always going to be centered around a legendary. Whoa. And they come... Why did we get that much? Oh, because we start with 60 harvesting. Duh. That is... Absurd. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. It's mo It's on here already? The 50% and the 150 is, is baked into the freaking character? You actually change the items? That's so wild. Uh, I'll get some crit, I guess. I guess I'll grab some more harvest thing. Um, that is so bizarre. Peaceful bunny sounds interesting, but you know, am, so am I, I am tagged for harvesting. So maybe I'll get myself an early crown. 10% damage minus five max HP. This is so wild. Step one, get a lot of shotguns. I'm, I, you know what I mean? I'm going to get a gentle alien too. 9% damage minus 20 range. I mean, I'm going to go for that, but we need to get our weapons first. One range damage. Wait. Hey. Hey. Is it... Is it 1.5 and it just doesn't say it? It might be. It might be. This is crazy. Starting with tractor with that is kind of nuts. Uh, and there's no other penalties. We're going to be super... We're super tagged for range, range damage, percentage damage, and harvesting. That is, like... It's some glass cannon, free econ, son of a gun stuff. Like, again, just... You know, I'm glad that we got the percentage damage kind of nullifying out. I'll take a free peaceful bunny. I'll get some range damage here. Attack speed sounds good. Lens. I'll take fertilizer for sure. Are you kidding me? A little bit of that. Sure. I mean, head injury is good. But 20 range. Man, those penalties are something. <laughs> they are something, something. But 7% more enemies from one uh, gentle alien. I think that'll end up being a good thing for us. I think we're going to be really, really strong. Huh. But yeah, like, I mean, you could start with... You can start with Anvil. You can start with, I mean, you can start with Retromation's Hoodie, which on paper is bonkers bonkers. All right. Uh, we get a free roll, which is good. Ooh. I'll get some percentage damage. Head injury. So, okay, we are tagged. That's what, what it's all about. Or tagged for minus five lifesteal. I do want lifesteal, though. But fixing up my attack speed sounds divine. This is wacky. So many of the items in the shop just seem so tasty. How could I not, right? We've got so much money to work with, and yet we only have four shotguns. Seems wrong to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. All right. But, like... You could just take this character and go with the one idea of, like, the legendary and the epic item getting tagged for them. And that's already interesting, but slapping the, uh, 
the 50 positive and 150 negative is really, really interesting. Because it's like, here you go. I don't know how to make a downside that's going to be relevant for every... Okay, fine. For every character. Nice. But I might as well slap this on there. Because it's going to be bad for everyone. You know what? Little Frog sounds good. Injection just seems mediocre, though. So five max, five HP down for 10% damage is like, it's a scary trade. I'll take head injury, but I don't feel great about it. Okay, Balaka Laka. Okay. Wave five, do we have bullet boys coming our way? I'm not so sure. I do know I have one HP. That much is clear to me. That being said, I am so much stronger than I need to be for wave five. It's not even funny. So I think it'll be a-okay. But yeah, a tractor start, I'd say that's it's kind of the dream because you really don't need to worry about that. Um, a 20% damage penalty, it's fine, right? Especially when you have another item that gives you heavy bullets, which kind of fixes it up. Also, it's buffed heavy bullets, so thank God. Cake? I, I think we can take that. 9% dodge. I'm going to have dodge be a dump stat today. Some attack speed, sure. Shotgun. Yeah. I think more than normal, we really need to determine a dump stat. Okay, I'll take a little bit of that. Minus 7 speed for 1 range damage! Imagine! Imagine! Minus 7 speed for 1 range damage. Maybe it's 1.5. Imagine taking that, though. That's such a dumb trade. That's the annoying thing about the range damage tag right now, is it's giving lots of, lots of things that only have 1 range damage and are maybe being improved to... Maybe being improved to 1.5. So, the range damage tag is kind of meh at the moment. We're looking for things, like, there's certain items out there that have downsides that you just couldn't care less about, right? Like, um, like Rubber Ducky would give us two or three elemental damage down for 15 luck. Couldn't care about that less. Uh, I'll take a 25 short. God, my, my life steals so bad already. I'll take the 9 speed. Uh. <laughs> what? Oh, bandana's just bad, though. That's sad. I'm taking it anyways. It's still worth it. That's how crazy it is. Okay. Cool. Maybe we pierce through 1.5 enemies. Maybe if we get a second bandana, we pierce through three. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe there's a secret uh, decimal. That just doesn't do anything right now, but will do anything. It will do something. Maybe. I'm kind of banking on that, because otherwise, like, that's... Uh, the band that it, it's not going to be worth it later, but... Hey-ho. What are you going to do? We do need to up our range like mad, because... If I get, like, a baby with a beard showing up... I do want it. I want it badly. But that's how much range down? It's 80 at a start, or 60? What, what, what is it currently? It's gone through a couple permutations. One armor minus five speed. It's just... Come on. See, here we go. Ritual is actually kind of cracked now. Another attack speed, sure. I'll take... What's my crit chance? Minus nine? Plus three armor is going to be worth it. Give me one of those. I'm going to take injection. Sure. We'll take one injection. God. 
Uh, pumpkin's actually amazing. Pumpkin's so good. Take cake. Only a 5% damage penalty for, for that is really nice. Man. If only, if only we had Bandana round up to two. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe it did? Three piercing? How much does it, it pierce through, it pierces through two by default, right? I think it pierces through two with a pretty gnarly damage fall off, if I remember correctly. Cut. Can we get a crown, please? I'm supposed to be super tagged for harvesting. The thing is I'm super tagged for four things, though. Okay. So if I'm super tagged for four things, am I really super tagged for anything? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I was just checking. Man. Handcuffs is crazy. I want it, but not now. Or maybe damage from these five crits. Uh, I'll take pumpkin so that if um sharp bullet shows up, we're fine. Ayo. God. Is it worth it? If I find one more pumpkin, it's worth it. If we don't, it's it was not worth it. If we don't find another pumpkin, this was a bad idea. I'm just assuming we will, right? We found... Well, is pumpkin tagged for range damage? Because why we found two... I mean, maybe we're just lucky. But yeah, there's a really good chance this was a terrible choice. But I like piercing through stuff. So, so me. So me. It's working fine. I'm thinking about the long-term goal here. I'm not thinking about the right now term. Our pickup radius from two, um, two frogs is actually very good. Pog frog. Thank you. 60% from two. Is gross. Is gross, is gross. Dude, I hate that item right now, though. I'll take seven crits. I don't know. I'll take more attack speed. Missile. It's kind of hard to justify. Poisonous tonic, though. Kind of like that. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll take an alien tongue. Massive pickup rage. Just for kicks and wiggles. Um, Seven enemy speed for seven of your own speed is actually a pretty good trade. Because you can always fix your problem. Another one of those. Sure, another one of those. Uh, let's just... Do I need this big a pickup radius? Do I need 150 pickup radius up? No. I just kind of want to see it. That's huge. It's kind of funny. I won't want um, Cute Monkey, though, is the thing. Which is usually a good reason to want pickup radius. But, oh well. What's my range? Three. I need to get, like, um, I don't know, freaking... Wings? Wings would be so good. Huge range up. And uh, huge range of speed up. For basically no penalty, because it's a an elemental penalty, which is not a thing I care about. My elemental damage will be in the gutter, though. Like, we're really just looking for those items. Like, that kind of thing. I am really disappointed by how bad the, uh, the tier 1 range damage items are right now for us, though. Uh, yeah, there's no downside to it. Whoa! That's so good, though. Sure. Uh, um, it's 
12 speed down. Twelve speed down sucks. Let's see if I can get a speed up in this. I'm not taking it. Not not right now. I'll take bait. That, that bait's pretty good. Uh, triangle of power is a terrifying concept. Just don't get hit for it. Ooh. I want to have that around really badly. Oh. Eh. God, dude. My range. It's very sick. I want to get some speed up. Okay, don't get hit. Getting hit loses us 5% damage. We can get hit six times before it's a problem. Like... It, it is... It's a really risky trade. We can't... T I will say, just by doing it, we can't take, um... Bloody Hand. I don't know if Bloody Hand was ever on the table, though. It looks like Lifesteal is going to be a really hard thing for us to, like, get a lot more of. Uh, things like... Uh, getting the Leech... Starting in a couple waves, getting the Leech would be pretty darn good. I wouldn't mind Tardigrade. There's literally no downside to it, and it could help keep us from losing some damage, mostly. Blah, 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 Give me some speed up on level up here. I don't want it. <sighs> I don't want to be rolling that. I guess I'll take Banner. Seven speed for minus crit chance. I'm going to do it so that we can take shackles. There we go. Huge range. But we can't ever get higher than seven speed. That's fine. Wait. Wait, what? Was I at minus seven speed from something? Oh my god, was I at minus seven from ugly tooth? That's fine. I'll shackle myself at, at uh, zero. It shouldn't matter today for what it's worth, but I was trying to shackle myself at plus seven, not at zero. That is okay. We fixed our range like, like a lot, right? Range is, is doing a lot better now. So range being this high means that our speed can be lower and it will be okay. Really hard to get our crit anywhere, it seems like. Doesn't matter too much. What are some other downsideless items? Like items that literally don't have a negative. They they're just they're not that great, maybe, but they don't have a negative. You know what would actually be really good? Wandering bot. Well, it's just a neutral item. It doesn't unless it does slow them more and it just doesn't visualize it. Like you know, like maybe it slows them by 10 and it actually now slows them by 15 percent. Maybe. Uh, I want like flat ranged. Sure, with the percentage. Um, I don't know about that one. I'm going to roll so I don't. Wait. Okay. Uh, HP regen can be tanked now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, I could obviously get a minigun. I'll take a scope. I don't, I, I'm not going to take minigun. Uh, you, it's, 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 it's exhausting. I, you always take minigun. You, wow, how could you skip minigun? It's just, it's exhausting, man. I'm just gonna today. I'm just gonna skip it. You want to know why? Because I feel like skipping it. All right. Here we go. Good deal. 
This is some silly, silly damage. I just want to see, uh, I want to see full legendary shotguns, and we should be able to do that with, uh, 355 harvesting out the get-go. I am sad by the lack of, um, crown early. Not that we need anything on this run at all. I could have taken some luck to try and influence it, and also to influence us to stop getting such, um, all the bad range damage items, which seem to be the commons. There's some solid ones at blue tier and above. Like, uh, I mean, small magazine's not great, but three flat for 15%, it's fine. And you get the free attack speed to go with it. It ain't bad. Uh, absolutely. Wheat is incredible for us. Sure. I like metal plate a lot today. Get more range for the funny. And then we'll tank a little bit of range as well. Sure. More pickup radius, mostly. Again, for the funny. What's the range? It's it's pretty massive. Does it do that much of anything for me? No, not really. The bag exists. Like, and by that I mean, like, if we don't pick up money, it goes in that bag, we'll just get it later. The only thing that pickup range ever saves you in this game is the money that you would lose going from wave 19 to wave 20. You could argue you save whatever money based off of the inflation of the shop by picking up the money one wave earlier, but let me tell you, it is not. It is not worth getting worried about. Pickup radius is nice. The biggest reason to get it in my opinion, is usually like you want to pick up food easier. Is like, that's the big one. Or if like you literally can't ever get in, you can never get in, like then maybe. Uh, HP region is terrible for us. A burn build is actually kind of, kind of cool though. Flat. Sure. More range for the funny. We can definitely get Hedgehog now. There's no downside. Take some range down. Sure. Boop, boop. Butterfly is incredible for us. There's no penalty. I kind of want to take a speed up so that we can take some speed down, if you know what I'm saying. We are capped at zero, but that doesn't mean... It doesn't mean we have to completely never take um, speed, because... We're capped at zero on the top end. We can go below zero. A lot of people seem to not realize that. You can go below zero. You just can't go above zero. We're capped in that way. So by taking, uh, I can take range, or well, I can take speed ups to nullify speed downs that I want to take in the future. Like if I ever wanted to take that weird one range damage up, seven speed down item. I could stack up a bunch of speed. Like, if I get... Uh, I'll, I'll still be very happy to see wings, even though, like, the range and the speed is redundant at this point. Finn would be redundant as well. If we don't care about lifesteal. Yeah, there's a lot of items that are made redundant at this point. I kind of want to get hit so I can see torture in action, but... Max speed. Give me some flat ranged. Fine. Above dodge. I'm at negative 36, dude. Could I get there? Yeah. Do I wanna? Not really. It's a long way out. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Bumpgan. I'll take a gentle alien. Blood donation would be the worst of possible idea. Poison's Tonic, for sure. We don't care about HP regen anymore. We don't care about lifesteal. Uh, we have more range than we could possibly dream of needing. I'll take that just because. Alright. That piercing... Uh, the pumpkin there did so much work for us. 
or will do so much work for us. Man, getting to level 27 on wave 16, the fact that that's kind of like a footnote of the run is the fact that we have 446 harvesting is hilarious. The fact that that just kind of is also a thing that is true. We'll manual aim this for fun. You could just like sit in the corner and do this. And it would be totally fine. Good deal, good deal. Sure, we can take it. I could take it, I just don't care. Crit chance, sure. Uh, the speed would be so that I could take speed down. Bait is great. You know, we could definitely take this now. Who cares? All right. Blap, 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 blap. Evaporated. Absolutely evaporated. What do we got? A crit. 55. Just out of curiosity, because it feels like we're critting a lot more than 55% of the time. Who me? I don't know. This is a cool character. It's very, it's a very replayable one. It's probably perhaps the most replayable of the batch because you could just, you get a random legendary and epic and you just build around it. Yeah, it's, it's I'm not, it's not quite, because you're, you're limited very specifically to the items that exist in legendary and stuff like that. So, it's not quite in the infinite tier of replayability, but it's it's up there. Sure. Aye, aye, aye. Whatever. I, uh, do I care anymore? Do I care anymore about it? <laughs> like, it gives me a lot of speed to play with to throw away. You ain't gonna live long, my friend. <laughs> Maybe the fastest I've ever killed a mini boss. That genuinely may be the fastest I've killed a mini boss. Ever. Ever. It's a it's a crazy character. It, it rewards knowing. Well, it, it just rewards someone who's able to reassess and reanalyze what the shop now looks like because it's a completely different style of shop a lot of items that are normally not that great or like not that cost effective become better like um like okay, bit, 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 bit. i mean recycling machine becomes just truly godly uh bait is fantastic pumpkin's actually really really good if it's you know relevant to your run ritual becomes actually cost effective normally it's Normally, it's not it's not bad, but it becomes pretty cost effective. It's normally expensive, is what I would say. Is it, is it normally costs more than it feels like it's worth? Nope. Crit. Come on. Fine. I'll take the four ranged. Sniper gun. Sure could. <laughs> Wisdom is wacky. We can take a little bit of that. We're, we're capped at 91, so... Good, good. 
we want all this, the question is, could I buy it all? I just didn't. <laughs> oh, and another tractor too late. For being super tagged for harvesting. Well, I think the thing is I got a lot of, um, got a lot of fertilizer. Which is, uh, 72 harvesting for what on this run is literally no downside. Is kind of crazy. Okay. It's a fun lawnmower run. Alrighty. Love to see it. Okay. It's been a lot of pickup radius. Vacuuming. We roll. Surely we need more crit. I mean, need is a strong word. Surely we can use more crit still. Yep. Fertilizer don't matter no more. I can take injection and I'm not actually losing anything. Uh, this other ritual could pay for themselves still. I'll take bait. Who cares? All right. That's the boss. Alas, alas. That is that. That's going to do it here for today. So what? Uh, wolf helmet, stone skin, elemental damage, luck armor. Cape. Starting with cape is actually really interesting. Oh, lifesteal dodge hit protection. This is actually a really, that's a cool one. Starting with Estes couch and fairy is so good. If you start with Estes couch, this would almost like, honestly, it would almost rival it. Explosive turret, improved tools. That. Wait. Being tagged for uh, engineering and attack speed and starting with the explosive turret, improved tools. These are all really cool so far. Focus is a good thing to start with. It's not as exciting. This is probably the worst roll. Uh, starting with Peacock is absurd. That does so much for your run. Big arms is weird melee and range damage i guess you do like i guess maybe you'd go for cactus club on that i don't know very cool character i could see myself wanting to come back to replay that one for sure uh alas alas that's that that's gonna do it for today there's a link to the top description for the mod if you want to check it out of course there's a link for brotato as well thank you for watching though my name is retromation covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites if that is something you are into this is a channel you should be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye